Alright guys, welcome to a new video. In this video we're going to be playing the Binding of Isaac Rebirth and I'll be showing you guys how to use Cheat Engine, a software to get yourself infinite HP in the game. Essentially you never die, so it's an instant win. Now a word of warning, I, I really don't recommend doing this, it completely takes the fun out of the game, but I know some of you would do it anyway, so that's why this video is here I guess. So what you're going to want to do obviously is open up your game, Binding of Isaac Rebirth, and you want to download Cheat Engine, which I will link in the description. You don't get any freeware or any bullshit like that with it, so it's pretty good. You want to open up the Cheat Engine program as well, and you should see a computer system which is highlighted. You want to open that up, and then you'll get a process list. If I make this bigger for you guys, you'll be able to see a process with the binding of Isaac on it. Isaac-ng.exe, you want to find that, click it, and press open. And that should open in Cheat Engine. Now you want to go on the actual binding of Isaac rebirth game. You want to start a run on this. I'm going to be doing Isaac for this demonstration. Now uh, this does differ for every character dependent on how many hearts they spawn with. Now all you need to know is each half a heart a character has is worth 1 as a value of 1. So for example I've got 6 half a hearts on Isaac which means my value is 6. So if you had 4 half hearts your value would be 4. If you had 2 soul hearts it would also be 4 for example. So now once you've got that then you want to go into Cheat Engine and put in the value box, you want to put 6 or however many half hearts you spawned with and you want to do the option for first scan. Now you want to go back on the game and try and get hit by an enemy. I want to go find one of them. There you go, I can use this wall here. So you want to get hit once. So now I've got two full hearts and one half heart which gives me a value of 5. You want to go back on Cheat Engine and put in 5 as a new value and then press next scan. This will reduce the number of options here. Now go back in the game and injure yourself again, ah. and then if you go back on Cheat Engine you should notice one of these values has a value of 4, which is how many hearts you're on now, and has a previous value of 5, which was how many hearts I was on before I just got damaged. So once you've realised that is the correct value, you'll know that this is your HP. So you want to double click it, so it goes into the memory box. And now you can title it if you want, I'm going to put health. You want to check the active box, which means it's active on your save. And then there's the value option. Currently my bad value is 4, because I have 4 half a hearts. You can set this to whatever you'd like. So for example, if I put it to 6, I've now gone up to full HP. If I put it to 10, I've got 5 health now. And the max value is 24, which will give me full health. And it will never go down. So if I go back into the damaging room... Ah! I've been injured but my health has not changed. I'll be stuck at this health value forever. So essentially you can run through the game as per usual. You can pick up items and things. If you full screen occasionally it does crash so I'd recommend staying in windowed mode. But um, you can basically go through the game and win with every character. Which is bullshit I know. But it's in the game. It was in the original. So uh, that's why this video is at you. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this also works for coins, bombs and keys. I'll do a separate video on that if it's required, but it should be self-explanatory, it's done the same way. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next video.